Okay, it's story time. So, yeah, I, I paid scalper prices for it. I, I, I'm mad at myself. And the reason why I'm mad at myself is because I bought this on a Sunday afternoon. And I was like to the guy on eBay, he's like, hey, can you ship this as soon as possible? And he's like, yeah, sure, no problem. I gladly paid the money. Way more than what I thought I would be paying for him. And then as soon as I hit the pay button... I get an email from Bandai saying, hey, this is available on P. Bandai. Yeah. I feel so dumb right now. What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star01 channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffalus, and please do not do what I just did and pay scalper prices. You just gotta wait. You gotta wait. I admit, I did this on impulse and I am so sorry for it. But you know what? Let's learn from the mistakes and let's look at this figure. We're going to look at paint detail, articulation and scale, and accessories. And if you're looking for awesome action figures, you know where to go. You can go to www.dstartoys.com and we'll have a source for awesome action figures. Sadly, this guy's not there because he's an exclusive. As all toy reviews, I'm going to tell you right now how I feel. Is this figure worth it? If you're paying over 100, no. I'm going to tell you right now, no, it is not worth it. Just get it from P. Bandai if it's not too late, okay? Uh, as soon as he came up on P. Bandai, of course I ordered one just to keep him in the box. But this one's actually pretty cool. I have to say, for if you paid the New York Comic Con price, which is $60 plus tax, absolutely, this is a really good looking figure and definitely worth it. If you can get it for under 100, Great, fantastic, go for it, highly recommend it. In fact, we're going to move right into paint detail and go right into a comparison with the said paint detail. This is the demoniacal fit version. Let's move this bombsicle uh, colored uh, effect piece and let's go right into this comparison. Uh, so here we go. Here's the major difference. Obviously, it is the finish. So it looks like Tamashii Nations or Bluefin decided to hold on let's see if we can focus up there Ooh, these guys are way too shiny they can't even focus up let's see. okay there we go so the the uh the difference here is definitely the glossy finish it looks like tamashi nations t looked at this figure and said we could do better in fact we can do shinier and then they decided to do something like this the finish that you see here actually is a mixture between gloss and almost a chameleon red blue uh, this kind of paint does exist. I believe Mr. Hobby makes something similar. It's like a chameleon paint, which under certain light, it looks kind of reddish, kind of blue. And this is exactly what you get on the shirt and on the pants. Whereas the Demoniacal Fit version, it looks like it's a little more matte finished. So while they do look alike, the major difference is definitely there. Let's talk about the hair. That rhymed. As you can see right here, you can see a kind of like translucent, transparent blue with little hints of red in there when the light hits it. Whereas this one, the demoniacal fit version, not so much. It looks more like a solid blue with a hint, very, very small hint of red. In fact, you probably couldn't see it on the camera. Um, but yeah, so let's look at the shirt. Like I said before, super glossy. Just look at that gloss. This has a really, really glossy finish. Just look at that. The way the light shines off it is just kind of incredible, actually. I really like the way this looks. We're right here, kind of dull. Um, and let's look at the pants. Really deep, dark orange. And again, we're looking at a kind of lighter orange with that gloss finish. Man, all over this figure. So, if you're looking for a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Son Goku, Kaioken that looks like someone vomited a bunch of gloss finish on it, then absolutely, yeah, <laughs> the, the event exclusive is definitely the way to go. If you're looking for more of a matte finish, I'd say the Demoniacal Fit version is definitely the way to go. So, it really depends on what you're looking for. I have both. Uh, if you were to ask me which one do you like better... I'm just going to tell you right now, when it comes to exclusives, they got to stand out. Um, and this figure just stands out. Let's be real. Look at this guy. He just absolutely stands out. 
Uh, you stick this with any other of your SH figure arts, you're just going to go, wow, this guy is a super shiny Super Saiyan. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's pretty cool. I have to say I really like the way it stands out. It is definitely worth it in my opinion. Uh, I'm honestly, even though I have a little regret on paying that scalper price, you know what? I have no regrets, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Scott P, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I have to say, I, I really don't. I love the way this looks. He looks really cool. I'm glad I have him early instead of waiting for the P Bandai to show up at my door. Yeah, this is a really cool figure. I can't deny it. Anyway, let's go into articulation scale. We got to see how tall this guy is standing. Let's take out the ruler. And this guy is standing at about six and a half inches. Let's compare with the Demonical Fit version. And this is also six and a half inches. So they are definitely the same height. Um, so if you're thinking one's smaller or one's bigger, no, they are definitely the same height. Now we got to compare with other action figures. Sure, why not? We have Kid Goku. <laughs> uh, we have SH Figure Arts Pac Man. Uh, let's get some other action figures in here. I have too much SH. Let's get one of my favorite Wolverines, which would be the Marvel Legends Yellow Suit Wolverine right there. And just because I like to tease these. Got Silver Sable Marvel Legends with the D Star Arms G36, Dragon Stars, Kid Boo, Custom, and we have a Mafex Batman, and you gotta have Jiren. And there's Jiren right there. That's pretty cool. So let's talk about articulation. This guy has an up and down here at the toe. Pretty standard Goku stuff, ball joint here at the uh, knee, right? Oh, not at the knee, sorry. Ball joint here at the ankle. Double jointed knee right there. Of course, you have that fighting body, but it's really stiff. So I noticed this leg started to pop out because my joint right here is super stiff that it just kind of pops out. I really have to loosen it up. Probably I'm going to grab some silicone oil, which you can also grab at dstartoys.com. But yeah, that is a really tight version 2 joint right there. Uh, definitely have to play with it or oil it up just to get it to loosen up. But yeah, that is really tight. Uh, we have two joints right here in the midsection for excellent ab crunch, or maybe not so excellent, but still, he has an, he has an ab crunch like all Gokus do. Let me take out this plastic. And, we, of course, we have uh, butterfly joints right here. Can he hug himself? Let's twist the bicep. And, yes, he can hug himself something like this. So we have cross arms look right there. Let's check out the range of motions. Let's put this as far back as we can so he's coming in for a hug a super saiyan hug kaioken hug and that's as far back as it goes we have a bicep swivel right there double jointed elbow right here ball and peg here at the wrist again whoa really tight i can't even get it to move forward that much and two joints right here at the neck looking to be well above 20 points of articulation let's get him in a fighting pose so, side kick, front kick, knee, sure you can, and of course, activate all, all joints. Let's see how far we can get this guy to do a superhero landing pose right here. Boom. And I think that's really all I can, I can't really get him to look up. It looks like the hair kind of gets in the way to complete the superhero landing pose. So there it is. That's as far as I can get it. So he's very articulated, just like the Demoniacal Fit version. And now we can move on to accessories. We're going to go to the top camp in just a bit. We got to look at the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Kaioken effect piece here, which is the charge up effect piece. And that just looks really cool. So it matches with the glossiness, as you can see. Uh, it looks really cool, adds to the figure. I wish all Goku figures came in an effect piece, but you know what? Hey, we take what we can get, right? So that looks really cool. Let's just look at the effect piece. Whenever I look at this, it kind of makes me crave a bombsicle. You know a bombsicle? It's that popsicle that's red, white, and blue. It tastes like blueberries. Kind of what this looks like. So there you have it. That is the effect piece. Let's move that aside. Let's go into the box. Let's go to the top cam. Uh, when it comes to everything else, you kind of get a lack of hands. 
Usually, Goku comes with a ton of hands, but when it comes to this figure, it's not so much. So here on the top cam, as you can see, you get three extra faces, and let's see how many hands we get. We get six extra hands. So not much to add to the figure itself, but let's look at the the uh, um, the faces here. So, oh, one more thing I have to note is that if you notice on this one compared to the Demoniacal Fit version, you'll notice that he's a little less red. Um, the Demoniacal Fit version is definitely more red in the skin tone, whereas this one, it's not so much. Okay, so I switched out the faceplate here, and as you can see, there is a grinning face right there, and that looks really cool. One more thing I have to say is that these Goku faces are slightly different than your typical Goku faces usually they just give you like like a, a pretty standard Goku face. It looks like the the chin is a little more angled. At least that's how I see it. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Uh, let's go with a more angry face right here. This is more suited for the exclusive. Um, well, not for the exclusive, for what he's doing. Yeah, look at that. Because, you know, he's charging up. He's really angry. It's pretty cool. And last but not least, you got something like this. You have a slight smile face. So, now that we've gone over most of the accessories, we'll go over the hands as usual as at the end of the video. Don't want to waste too much of your time. Now let's come up with a conclusion of the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Son Goku Kaioken. New York Comic Con, or we're just going to call it a Ven exclusive because he is on P Band now. He's not a New York Comic Con exclusive. Is this figure worth over 100? Mm, no. Uh, well, you know what? Who am I to tell you what to use your money for? If you really like this figure, yeah, absolutely. Go for it. Um, for me, I'm going to tell you for me personally, personally, yeah, I, I love this figure. I, I don't regret it. It looks really cool. I love that finish. He stands out so much. Like, look at him compared to, like, Jaren here. <laughs> like, you can tell, like, he just pops. Like, it's a piece of art that just pops out at you compared to all the other figures that, that I have. In fact, let's start putting up, like, other action figures from SH Figure or SH Figure Arts like action figures. Oh, by the way, here's Kaioken Goku. Even compared to regular Kaioken Goku, he just really stands out. And here is regular edition Super Saiyan God Goku. I mean, just look how he pops out. It's just absolutely incredible what they did with the finish here. So, yeah, I think so. But for those who are really trying to pinch pennies here and are like, you know what, maybe I don't need to spend that much. Or, or if you're like, you know what, should I spend the scalper price? Just to get it early? No, I, I don't think so. <laughs> but then again, that's up to you. That's up to you. To me, I think it looks good. But for some people, you know what? That's up to you. I'm just going to leave that to you. Uh, so is there any negatives with this figure? Not really. Uh, I think the only negative I think I have, if, if I bought this at retail, besides the price, is I feel like they really take away a lot of the Gogu hands. Like we're missing the instant transmission hands. Uh, what else are we gonna we missing? We're slightly open hands, um, and and just I remember Goku usually coming with a much more hands than this, especially when you compare it to other Goku figures. And this one you kind of don't get as much. And I think that's the only negative I have about this figure. Anyway, guys, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when I post new videos. And last but not least, you can go to www.dsworkings.com and this for awesome action figures. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.
watch, rate, comment, and subscribe. Where? Right here, not there, right here. You. And thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here, right there, right here.